Hi, I'm here. Just so you know, my boyfriend is next door, and this is extremely awkward because I'm terrified of him listening and actually coming in here and seeing me talk to the camera because I haven't done this in front of someone in a long time. I made some notes because I'm nervous and I'm scared. <laughs> and I wasn't sure how to start this or what I'm gonna do in the end anyway. Maybe I'm cutting out this whole rambling section because I'm nervous to the like 36 people that subscribe to my channel. If you still remember me, then welcome back. If you're still gonna watch this, I don't know if you will because those subscribers are from a very, very long time ago. They used to be my online friends so it's been a hot second i know that my very old videos were from a very long time ago we all remember emo nina we all remember gamer nina um now this nina is here honestly i thought i'm just gonna chat a little bit because a lot has happened over the last years and i know that a lot of things are going to happen in the future and i told myself so many times that i'm gonna continue making videos again and just have like a little memory for myself and i never did and i totally regret that a lot and i thought i'm just gonna use this video to like quickly go over what has happened and if you don't even know me at all i'm I'm probably gonna share this on my Instagram so there's gonna be a lot of people that actually might like probably see me in real life and they're gonna see this so <sighs> while we're all here let's quickly just run through what happened in the last years why I'm here why I want to rebrand rebrand I'm not a brand but rename this channel and actually get a new start and why for once I finally want to actually use this and um, what my goals are kind of here I know you don't care but I care and this is really important for me so just hear me out okay to so like make it go down a little bit more smoother than a, like dried breadcrumb let's just skip over the whole emo face if you even remember that or if you know me at all and you've seen that there was a whole different channel and we've been through that era <laughs> the emo era and we've been through the i had a full channel making lyrics videos so 2011 it was a different time back then <laughs> also the last videos on this channel the height of my super professional gaming career we're also going to ignore them i'm proud of myself for actually making those videos because i had way more planned and way more footage that i recorded back then and i had a lot of scripts for editing those videos and i never did it <laughs> so um props to nina to back then actually making a few videos um props to emo nina for actually making a lot of vlogs in public before that even was a thing. I don't know how I had that courage. I guess we start four years ago. What did I do? Like all the privileged white people and other privileged people, I did a working holiday visa and I went abroad um, to New Zealand on a one-way ticket because I was sick of my hometown and I was sick of myself. So I thought, if I'm just gonna leave everything behind and run away from my problems, it's gonna solve everything. And it didn't. And I was kind of busy with that for like two years. I accidentally worked and lived in a cult. I did eat trash out of the dumpster, which wasn't actually trash, but I did do that. And after doing that for like a year or so and living in a van and getting the whole van moldy and just having mold all over me as well and just, you know, living that spiritual hippie life that I always dreamed of. I needed more money, I came back to Germany, I got money. I left as soon as I could, just back 
to New Zealand and I lived again in a cult for a bit. I decided to go to Australia for a bit and I actually met up with one of the girls I met um, through CSGO in Melbourne. And then I also wanted to go to Sydney real quick and I did that and I met two lovely people there um, from Sweden and UK and we got lost in the woods, that was great. It was very dangerous, there were some wild animals nearly attacking us but it was nice. Also then I obviously went back to New Zealand again <laughs> um, and after that time when my visa expired I was kind of like okay what am I going to do with my life because my visa ended, I don't really have work anymore, I don't really know what I want to do and my parents were like oh yeah maybe you should just study like everyone else you had your fun time let's go back to real life and study and at first I thought I really don't want to study I rather would do anything else just continue living in a van and working little part-time jobs and just chilling I didn't want to judge an experience I never had so I literally went on Google I went on Google and I typed in English speaking bachelor science programs and I found the one that I'm studying currently. So I applied, I wrote an essay about my, like a motivational essay and just typed something and sent it. And I had an interview where I was so nervous and shy that I talked about the most random bullshit out there. And then it was a day of my plane leaving back to Europe. And I got the email that I was accepted and I was like just crying, <laughs> just crying, tears down my face. <laughs> it was horrible because now I actually had to leave. But I ended up going to another new country, the Netherlands, where I was homeless for a month because I didn't find a room because obviously I did everything last minute. I made a girl at a party and she offered me that I could stay with her and I did that for a month until I finally found my own place. But yeah, spoiler alert, I had a horrible time of committing to this first. Um, but it was nice because I overcame some of the reverse culture shocks and I actually got clothes that weren't falling apart and I got to do science. Obviously we all know what happened during the next years and I'm not going to go into details. I myself had to deal a lot with um, health issues and loss and surgeries and I was working two jobs and I eventually got my own little studio which was really nice um, but it was just a roller coaster. Through a miracle I'm still here. After nearly failing high school I made it so far and now I'm starting my thesis soon and um, then I'm going to be done with a Bachelor of Science. Oof. Who would have thought? Tell that to anyone in high school like my old teachers or old fellow students and they would all not believe you or me but either way the reason why we're here is i've been doing uh i've been getting into a lot of new hobbies and a lot of things if you follow me on instagram you know that i'm um i found my passion with um, physical activities again and this time it's not just sex it's actually other things as well <coughs> I really like documenting my progress and just overall I found like kind of my joy again in just making stupid videos and stupid pictures and whatever so this is a nice excuse to why I even started I went onto the dev devil side I actually started the TikTok if you want to follow me and um, I thought okay if I can do this if I can do stupid little TikToks I can also go back to YouTube and overcome that fear. And we want to move across the world once again next year. So I also really want to document that just because after <laughs> after moving to New Zealand, I had my blog ready and I was like, okay, I'm going to back to YouTube and I'm gonna document everything so I can share it with people at home. Um, I didn't do that and I ended up having a hard time explaining to people what actually happened. We will all be here when I move again to the other side of the world because I 
did have commitment issues. I always told myself I would actually revive this crusty YouTube corner and film a lot more, but all I wanted to do is have fun making videos again and I just want to see my nice times um, that I can look back to and I already ticked off so much of the vision goals, like my vision board goals that I had, which is the first time in my life ever that this has happened. And I think it's just a sign to let go, you know, and just fully dive down into self-expression because why not? If you are already, if you're still watching this in general, thank you. If you're interested in some chill, comfy videos and just me trying to figure out what to do with my ambiverted self and my five billion hobbies that I can never decide on, and eventually me once again moving countries with just a suitcase, then you're welcome. Stay here. Let's be friends because I actually, since I stopped gaming, I don't have a lot of online friends anymore and I really miss them. I'm just trying to figure out what to do with my life again and you can just take a seat and join me because I swear to God, I'm 23 now and I still don't know what I'm doing with my life. I found at least my passion, like I guess, in the scientific fields, but I don't even know what to do with that.